All right, let's see if we're working here. Anybody in the chat, can you hear slash see me? I want to make sure because my internet's been a little weird recently. And by weird, I mean bad. Just want to make sure my mic is going before we get everything underway. Let me get this object loaded while I'm waiting for those to join. Components, uh, let's see, tools, counter. All right, where did this thing spawn? There it is. <clears throat> so everybody can hear me all right? Are my levels fine? Yeah, welcome back, Thyborg. Thank you very much for joining. Um, I am. Uh, <laughs> I'm excited for the new Ori in the blind in the blind forest, uh, and I'm excited for what is the other one? Uh, Doom seems pretty interesting. Uh, you told me that it was supposed to be exciting. Um, the Final Fantasy remake seems pretty cool. Uh, Death Stranding, as always, is at the top priority of excitement. Uh, I think that's it. I don't honestly remember. Oh no, the Souls game. There's the Souls game with uh, George R.R. Martin. That seemed pretty cool. Uh, God, are we gonna get some messages here? I tried to mute this. <laughs> uh, okay. Well. We're gonna get underway now. Now that uh, we've got a lot of people here. So, welcome back. Uh, this is the Arkham Horror Living Card Game, uh, League of Extraordinary Investigators Challenge. Uh, I'm playing Finn Edwards, uh, your boy, the rogue. Um, <clears throat> and we'll be doing the Miskatonic Museum today, which is the third scenario, uh, I guess second technically, but... The third, uh, the first Mythos pack in the Dunwich Legacy um, cycle. So, I wanted to first point your attention to the deck. So, I will be making a lot of changes um, as this competition goes on because I have two adaptables, meaning that I can swap out four level zero cards uh, each mission, which kind of goes a long way once when you're when you're kind of um, paying very close attention to each of the encounter sets that are in the next one and, and so on and so forth. So, um, so far it's, it's banked about, uh, I think four experience each time. So eight experience so far it's saved. Well, actually two when you, when you switch it in anyways, or, or four when you switch it in anyway, but anyway, so it saved a, a ton of experience as of now, but I'm going to turn our attention to the, um, let's see here. The deck. There we are. So, here's the deck. Uh, House Always Fins. I haven't changed the name because I like the name, I guess. <laughs> also, I'm lazy. Um, so what's changed? Uh, last time, we had some cards in here, uh, that enabled us to get through extracurricular activity a little easier. We had some track shoes, 
Uh, waylays were good for those uh, prospective enemies that were uh, not elite, but also gave victory. However, unfortunately, we didn't really use any. Um, so this time in the practice runs that I've done so far, uh, I was able to kind of surmise that there there is an emphasis on uh, getting clues and having relatively high shroud values. Um, we've got perseverance. We've got working a hunch. We've got, um, can I just like not have that happen? All right. Well, anyway, um, we've got working a hunch coming in, uh, fast, discover a clue at your location, really good for action compression. Um, We've got Perseverance coming in, uh, in place of Track Shoes, Waylay, Logical Reasoning. Uh, the reasoning for that is because I've noticed that if you get an Arcane Barrier at a very unfortunate time, and you get um, that one card, uh, Beyond the Veil, it could just kill you. I actually had one playthrough where I got the uh, Arcane Barrier on Museum Halls, which is just like GG for Finn. You just leave the game because... <laughs> you go through that place like maybe eight times and there's absolutely no way you're you're succeeding at that skill test. So we've got this. Uh, hopefully we can draw it before it gets milled out. Inevitably there will be some cards that will, were milled, uh, but we're going to mute this. Um, but hopefully that will be one of them that's saved. If not, we can hopefully go fast enough to get all of the... Uh, clues. Really, there's nothing. There's nothing that Finn can't handle here except for Beyond the Veil. Um, so today we're going to take uh, Track Shoes, which have kind of been performing pretty good, uh, pretty well for us. Uh, it gives us that good one, one um, uh, agility. So we should be able to find those hopefully. Uh, if not, we can get those working the hunches on the way. The issue with Track Shoes uh, here is that. Uh, it doesn't help you blaze new territory such as Pathfinder does. Um, you kind of have to, when when you reveal a new place, it's not like you can kind of Pathfinder to it directly. You have to already be moving. And unless I can track shoes in, working a hunch while I'm there, and then do the test, uh, you know that wouldn't that wouldn't really be uh, be sufficient. So uh, we're gonna go with this deck list here. Uh, we're gonna load into the Arkham. Uh, thing in tabletop simulator uh, now that you guys know i put in two hot streaks that's the last thing to mention i took out two uh, generic overpower and manual dexterity and slotted in some hot streaks the reason for this again streetwise is an incredibly powerful card we're hoping to start with it get our uh uh lone wolf hopefully find leo relatively early so that we can get all of that up and running um, so let's jump into the game here. I haven't loaded anything in yet. I'm not sure what people what the etiquette is here yet. Uh, I didn't think that there was anything specific that people were doing. Um, so I'm just gonna load in using the uh, ID that I have. Um, give it a minute. Perfect. Found deck list, and we're gonna get to it. So I'm gonna drag this baby over here. Oop, not doing that. I'm going to shuffle that, put that in the draw pile, get these flipped over. Uh, so two adaptables will be in a little pile here. I've got a uh, turn marker. I guess turn one will be the first turn. Uh, so there's no point not to do that. So there's one discrepancy here. I don't know if, if uh, people noticed. I'm going to move this doom counter just so that it's easier to, for me to see. <clears throat> um, there's one discrepancy when you load in the Miskatonic Museum. You have to do a couple a couple different uh, setup things. And I wanted to make sure that I did that on stream just so that, you know, people weren't thinking that we're picking uh, the best the best things for us. Um, so we've got all these set up the scenario card. However, what happens when you load this for whatever reason is the chaos bag only loads in to minus two. Uh, so... As kind of a catch-all, I haven't added anything to the the uh, the chaos bag, so I just kind of pull the one from the Dunwich Legacy out here. If there's anything otherwise I'm doing wrong, um, you know, somebody could let me know. I'm just using this one, getting into standard, and that way it's the normal the normal chaos bag that everybody does love and see uh, in the game in general. So we've got our chaos bag set up now. Um, 
we've got the symbols sheet. Uh, we're going to shuffle this in counter pile. Uh, we start at the museum entrance. However, I'm going to move this whole thing down uh, just so it's kind of closer, more localized. I'm also going to switch this around here just so that I can kind of be going up into the museum, not changing anything functionally. Uh, I'm going to put these security offices and these administration offices as there are two. Uh, to begin with, you have to kind of randomly select one. So I'm going to randomly select one. This one gets removed from the game, although I'll just kind of sit it over here. Um, shuffle these up. Put this over here. So that these are the ones we're using. I start here at the museum entrance. Um, and then we got to set up the exhibit hall. So the way this works is that we're going to shuffle the five that aren't the final location, which is the restricted hall here. <clears throat> um, a few things happen once when this does take place. So we've got these all randomized. Uh, you take the two random ones and you shuffle the exhibit hall, the, the final location in uh, in two piles. This one goes in the bottom three and this one goes in the top three. So we've got the exhibit hall deck all set up now and that will go there. Um, just wanted to do that in case it was necessary for uh, viewers purposes. Uh, we've got our deck loaded in. We've got our uh, little mini card there. Get our resources up to five. Uh, we got our action markers here. We are on turn one. Um, should usually always be before one doom. Our connection markers showing the administration office. Museum halls, we cannot get into the museum halls. Uh, if anybody is familiar with this, we either have to bust down the door or spend some clues. Um, we start at the museum entrance, which has two clues on it. We can immediately resign, how roguelike of us, um, but we're not gonna do that. So we can't gain resources here. Uh, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, but we're going to see if we can bust through this uh, with clues. So we start at four um, intelligence. Uh, again, for anybody who's watching for the first time, uh, Finn can take an additional action during his turn, uh, which can be used to evade. Um, our Elder Sign effect is plus one for each exhausted enemy in play, and if I succeed by two or more, I discover a clue to the location. Um, both very strong, and I start with seven and seven. Uh, seven health, seven sanity. So we're doing pretty well on both fronts there to begin with, and we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna shuffle one more time just to make sure and draw my five, my opening hand. Okay, so I've got Leo. Uh, that's pretty fantastic, although I can't gain resources here, which I didn't catch the first time. Um, and usually I would just like play Lone Wolf and uh, play Hot Streak and then just get a huge advantage, bust through this door real easily with these clues. Um, since this is the case that we can't, usually we don't actually need any any of the uh, any of this happening here. Um, we don't need any damaging really. We might need to kill the the flying snake monster. Uh, maybe once. So we're going to set these cards aside. We don't need the Lucky Cigarette case at this time. Um, let's see. What else do we need? I kind of want to keep these track shoes in my opening hand. We don't need two copies of Leo. Uh, we do want money, though, to start with because we do have Streetwise. So um, this is going to be <laughs> this is going to be a little rough to begin with. <clears throat> um, let me just make sure with my Arkham thing here. I have the app uh, the LCG app, making sure that I did set up everything correctly. I just want to make sure I don't have to set aside the, uh, let's see, set aside that, 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 and Shadow Spawn. Okay, perfect. So he does start in the enemy deck. Uh, there is one enemy in this scenario. Uh, it is this slithering abomination thing. I never remember its name, uh, but it's the spooky snake thing that follows you everywhere. Um, hopefully we won't spawn him for some time. Uh, he can spawn if I fail on a cultist symbol, it, it will pull him from the encounter deck or wherever he might be. Um, there are some good things for us to get here. Uh, if we got an arcane barrier out here, I'd be kind of fine with that. We only ever need to be here once. So as far as this mulligan goes, um, we really want to find Lone Wolf early. We also want to find... Uh... Hmm... Flashlight would be good here, I think. Uh, that would be great for just blasting through these clues. Otherwise, we're going to have to kind of try a couple times. Um, but I think I do want to start with these two cards. So we're going to draw three and see where it takes us. Okay, so I got a cache, slip away, and a waylay. Uh, since I did put this together today, 
I'm actually really regretting not getting rid of the slip away. I would rather have the uh, manual dexterity actually than a slip away because the symbols aren't as important. Uh, although now they are because it can kind of put me at a plus two. Um, <clears throat> helps me evade enemies, but it really doesn't matter because this thing is elite anyways. Um, so that was just kind of a deck building uh, mishap on my part there. Yeah, the hunting horror. Thank you. <laughs> The hunting horror is the thing that uh, follows us everywhere. Um, so now we can begin. Uh, hopefully, I can get out of this area so that I can I can uh, I can't gain resources here, which is the really shitty part. So I'm just gonna commit. Let me see here. So I'm at a plus one. Um, minus two would stink. Although we don't have any tablets, we don't have any uh, uh, elder things. The so skulls and cultists are kind of fine for us to draw. So we're going to hope to get uh, a clue here on my first action. Perfect. So we got one clue. Good job, us. In case we do get a minus two, I'm going to uh, pitch this slip away. Hopefully for the next for the next action, we'll grab another one. Perfect. We're doing it. All right. So we've got both of these. Um... <clears throat> We can advance the act and head in there, and that's kind of what we want to do because next turn we kind of want to just blast off this uh, cache, get this Leo down, and then head into the museum. So I'm going to spend these clues. Uh, clues gone. Spend two. Move this act deck over. Finding a way inside. Uh, the investigators spend clues to advance. Uh, there's a security guard guy. He's all scared and timid. Um, so uh, choose an investigator to take control of the Adam Lynch asset. Uh, and then reveal in advance to Act 2A, Night at the Museum, starring Ben Stiller. Uh, Adam Lynch. Perfect. So he's going to go into our, uh, our slots over here, our arcane slots, as, as we don't have any <laughs> arcane. Uh, and we do want to play Leo. Notice he does not take up an ally slot. Uh, so we've got Leo already, which is really good. Um... So the other thing also, let me see, reveal the museum halls. So we're going to reveal the museum halls. Perfect. We can move in there. Last action, we'll head in there. Keeps falling into oblivion, so we're going to put that back up. Perfect. Um, so now we're surrounded by a bunch of spooky animals. <clears throat> this is kind of good because this means two things. One, we'll be able to play Leo immediately. We might not even need an emergency cash here. Uh, two, we've got a waylay uh, to commit for any agility tests. So. We're going to move to, so let's see, that was Mythos, Investigation Phase, Enemy Phase, there are no enemies, so we go to Upkeep Phase. Uh, we will ready all exhausted cards, so let's flip this guy over. Uh, draws one card and gains one resource, so draw a card. That's pretty good. Gains a resource. Although we do want Lone Wolf soon. Uh, Lone Wolf is, is our star card here, I think. Uh, and we will add a doom to the agenda. <clears throat> In just one moment, I'm gonna go this here, go to turn two. Oh, this is definitely upside down. There we go. Add one doom and draw our first encounter card. Let's hope it's not anything horrible. Guess what, guys? It's horrible. <laughs> we got beyond the veil, which means we will die if we find enough garbage. Uh, we don't have anything equipped here. Choose and discard one asset we control. Well, that is very bad. Um, this is probably the worst thing that we've ever I've ever gotten in any... Because this means that we have to kill this guy. Um, which is a really big shame, because for the rest of the game... Or for the rest of the campaign, we have this. Uh, return one of your keys to your current location. Which isn't actually not that bad in this one. But I'm sure it gets worse. So, test four, if we fail, we're going to fail. Um, <clears throat> if I cannot take two damage instead... Uh, God, that's really a shame. Uh, but we did get greedy. We want Leo out, so we're going to reveal. Look, it's a zero. The only time that that would be relevant. So Adam Lynch goes, I guess, I guess here. Uh, oh, we're moving from the game. So he's going to go up here. And we're going to add a, let me see. Uh, how do I, sp I've never had to spawn a thing before. Um, let me find a chaos back. 
I think I can find this in here. I'm going to open this. Uh, let's see. What is this? That's a bunch of cards. Aha, Chaos Token Reserve. I knew it was here somewhere. So I'm going to add one of these to here. So it's a bit of a shame. Uh, we're going to say it was all intended. <clears throat> because now uh, it dilutes from autofail. So, so let's see. Um, we've got our actions back. Uh, we want to go to the administration office and also there. So I'm going to go... I'm going to uh, play Leo DeLuca because we do want to get Leo online. So we've got zero money, which is bad. Uh, but we also have a Leo action now. So first action was Leo. <sighs> Administration office can only be investigated if there are four more cards in hand. Or no, not while you have uh, four or less cards in hand. So we only need one clue to start this train. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So... Let's see. I think we go here and we can just... Oh, wait, no, we can't blast that off, can we? Actually, we can. We can move there. Uh, so let's move here. I'm very well aware that... Uh, oh, well, you well, you have few, four fewer resources. Okay. Um, well, we're about to just take this clue with working a hunch and then start heading in to uh, the museum. So next action, I'm going to emergency cash. Get three. Uh, immediately use two of that to grab this because that's just discover a clue yeah so we're gonna discover a clue here and pick that up and then head back into the oh wait no so this is this is the lesson that I've learned <laughs> I know I know beyond the veil is definitely a rip uh, <clears throat> this is the lesson that I've learned as as playing Finn in this campaign never ever ever end your turn on the museum halls ever uh, <laughs> For, for good reason, um, if you get an Arcane Barrier there, again, you just lose the game. Uh, so then it's just a struggle to get, uh, to, get, to get as much victory as possible before you inevitably get murdered by Beyond the Veil. So now that we've got this thing looming, I think we either want to take a resource so we can get our track shoes online uh, or draw a card. Right now, two cards are dead in our deck, which are Hot Streaks. Um... We did get Leo and get this clue, so we are online and ready to explore next turn, but I think I want to draw a card so I can get to this Perseverance too, and if I get my weakness, either of the weaknesses, it's not too bad. Um, hmm. I think it might be better to get the track shoes out. See, what would be really bad is the other copy of Crypt Chill, uh, <laughs> because then we just lose Leo, and then we're in really bad shape, um, considering we, we mulled the other one away and we have, like, no money. So I'm thinking that we're going to gain a money so we can play these tracks. If we do lose Leo, it's not a horrible deal. It's not, Leo gives us a nice health buffer for when this inevitably comes. Hopefully we'll be able to get that Perseverance. Um... I think I'm going to go for the track shoes. They've been kind of fine early on. Um, so we're going to get a resource here as our last action. Um, <clears throat> investigation, enemy phase, nothing happens. Upkeep phase, we re we flip everything over so he gets comes back up. Uh, flip all of these little pucks back over. Uh, sadly, we don't have a lone wolf. Uh, we get a... Card, okay, backstab, that's kind of fine. Get a resource, now we can play backstab if we do need it. And we add a doom to the agenda. We are at turn three now. And we draw a card. We did it, we dodged the barrier, guys. <laughs> Hopefully this doesn't mill the perseverance, then we're kind of in really shitty shape, but whatever. Um. <laughs> Whoa, that would have been bad. So. All we have to do is get out of here, mill five cards, right? Mill five cards, we're at 22 cards. This this also means that I'm never playing my... Uh, oh, wait, no. Uh, Lucky Cigarette Case is not a force, so you can draw. But I'm not, I don't want to draw any more cards than I have to, so we're really going to be relying... We're really going get, to get on the back of Streetwise here. 
Um, watch, watch this. When I leave, uh, so first action, I'm going to leave. <laughs> oh, wait, no. First action, I might want to play track shoes here. Uh, although I won't have any money to investigate with using Streetwise, I think it's just a better idea to get this down. So I'm going to get these down here using another arcane slot because that's where they go. Uh, first action. Second action, I'm going to move out here. We're going to take a skill skill test. Really, if we get the the spooky snake man hunting horror... <laughs> thank you, Kraken. Uh, if we get the hunting horror, it uh, shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, failing here. Um, okay, so we got, a, we got a skull, which is a minus one. Uh, which, you know, so we just mill five cards. All right. Nothing we can do about that. So we lose an intel report. That's bad. Uh, we lose our trusted 38, which doesn't matter at all. Lone Wolf, goodbye. I love you. That and unmerge cash. Okay. Now let's not hit a mill a card for the rest of the game. How about that? Uh, so that was two, three. I'll spend a clue in the museum halls uh, and put the top card of the in exhibit deck into play. Uh, I usually put it up there. Where is it? There it is. So I'm going to take the top card here. I'm going to put it over here. That's the first one. We're going to copy, uh, paste that boy, and get into the exhibit hall. As the last action, I'm going to move in there. Remembering to never Terry. All right, well, let's discard two cards at random. Why not both of these anyways? And that ends our turn. So this is the only unfortunate place. We really don't want to be in here because... Uh, this is the only place for us that's very tough to, to investigate. <clears throat> in that, if we get the minus one, we get the hunting horror in here, it's horrible. Everything sucks. Um, but so far, no, everything's not that bad. We've we've got some turns. Um, so that was the investigation phase, enemy phase, no enemies, uh, upkeep phase. Got it. We got the perseverance. We're not going to die. Not today. <laughs> Uh, gain a resource. We got this doom happening here. We're gonna go up another turn. So what we don't have is money. Uh, so our Leo action is probably just gonna be dedicated to clicking for a uh, resource. Uh, Network net terminology coming through. Um, spending an action to gain a resource and then using that resource to streetwise. Uh, I think it's still that good. Uh, luckily, we won't actually have to... Uh, oh, wait, were we on four? Oh, no, we're on three. Okay, that's not bad. We've got two turns until basically the, the snake guy comes out. Um, luckily, we haven't had him to spawn from this arcane barrier, and that's never going back in the deck. Uh, all right, so we've got our actions here. No, we don't have our actions here. We have an, we have an encounter card to draw. Uh, yeah, we've only got one of these boys. So... Passage of the Veil. Hey, remember uh, remember when we're never going to do skill tests ever? Um, so this is kind of scary because if we deal one direct damage uh, to us, we are at six health, and Leo goes to one health, putting us at a total of 11 buffer with Perseverance for this thing. The other option is to just mill cards now that we have the Perseverance. Um, however, my experience, sometimes the Hunting Horror can just do a bunch of damage to you. Um, so it's probably just best to take the damage here anyways. Uh, we're just gonna draw. Hey, <laughs> we get a plus one for each exhausted enemy in play, which is zero, so we get zero. We still fail. Good job. Uh, discard the help too. So we're just gonna do a direct damage, I think. So that's two. Let me think about this. So that would be, uh, losing two effective health. So that's seven, eight, nine. Going down to seven health plus that would leave us at one health after this goes off. Or we just mill five cards. Um, this is kind of a big decision. Hmm. I think... I mean, if we get rich again, which is very not probable, we could get another Leo out, which would heal one of the effective damage. Um, so with this, we're at 11, 12, 13 health, effectively. Uh, and then we go down to 3 health. Minus 2 is 
one. So we'd be at one health, provided we don't take any more damage. Um... We're going to bet that we're not going to mill. <clears throat> uh, ooh, I don't need that here. So we're going to take the two damage and continue on. Um, so first action, like I said, we'll gain a resource. Second action, I'm going to buff uh, with Streetwise. And we are going to use this uh, investigation phase to grab this clue minus one. Okay, we're fine because we did get streetwise, so we've got one victory here. Fifth of the way there. And one of these locations actually saps all of your actions and immediately ends your turn, although the way that I've been playing this is that you kind of just... So here's the thing. I don't... Oh, wait. Can I leave here? Yeah, I can. I can. I can get into the next exhibit hall before this happens. Um, so this will go up to four doom. Uh, I've got a Leo action as well, so I'm going to uh, Leo action move into the exhibit. Oh no, because then I just reveal one. Hmm. I might just click for resources here, I think. I don't want to, I don't want to gain money, so, or uh, get cards, so I think that I'm just going to get, get a resource. Let's see. I wish this was a fast action because then you could like uh, track shoes in fast action drop or uh, use your clue and then go to the new place. But for the one other arcane barrier in here, I'm terrified enough of it that I'm not I'm not going to do that. I ain't I ain't about that life. So I'm just going to get two, two resources. Maybe I'm just going to draw I'm gonna draw one card. Look, it's my weakness. I was rewarded. So there's no enemies in play. Uh, let me just make sure. <laughs> Uh, punished, if no enemies remove, okay. So the good part about our weakness is that it's a one card buffer for the inevitable Beyond the Veil happening, right? So we don't lose a card there. Uh, it just it just kind of looks at us and goes back in the deck. We're going to gain a resource on our last action, and that'll be our turn. Um, widely unproductive turn, uh, because we're terrified of one card. However... Uh, it is a new turn. Uh, it's a new upkeep, I guess. So, enemy phase, nothing happens. Upkeep phase, uh, draw a card. <laughs> well, we got the hot streak. If we just had two, got two resources there, it might have been better. Gain a resource. Um, I wonder if we just take a turn off to play this. Um, we go to turn five, four doom. Um, and we draw an encounter card. Chris Luck. Ugh. Am I glad to see you? Um, so first action, move here. Second action, I'll do this. Reveal a new one. So it's kind of like every other... I'm going to put it up here, just so we don't get cluttered very easily. I'm going to make it very apparent that this is up here. With intuitive use of these little arrow thingies. Uh, so two is spawn the thing. Three is move here. Flip it over. We got the worst one over. Okay, so these these are the two worst ones. Immediately end your turn. So we can't even like do any fast actions or anything. Uh, we lose both these actions here, uh, which is a dang shame, but whatever. So we immediately go to enemy phase. Enemy phase triggers. All right, so all of these are good. That's, that's what we're hoping for. Uh, we're hoping to get the rest of these clues off of here. Um, I almost want to take next turn off. Ugh, no, because the uh, hunting hunting boy is going to come out next. Um, enemy phase, nothing happens. Upkeep, we draw a card. Uh, I really don't want this card. <laughs> I want I want Lone Wolf. That's what I want. Uh, get a money. But I think one of them was milled already. Yeah, yeah. So we've got a we got a one in nineteen chance to get our lone wolf, but we do have some money here. So hopefully we can get up to that amount before this happens. So we got our money. Uh, the agenda pops, so it goes up to five. Flip this over. Uh, Hunting horror is in play. Add one doom to it. He's not already in play because we're amazing. Uh, if he's not in play, search the encounter deck, discard pile, and void for a hunting horror and spawn it in the museum halls if able. Uh, so it spawns in the museum halls. Actually, I didn't know that. Oops. 
I dealt something to green. Okay, I dealt the Necronomicon to green. That's fine. Uh, okay, so we're going to look through the encounter deck here. Oh, let's see. Where is this boy? He was eight down. Uh, we had some relatively inert cards coming up, but now this guy's here and hanging out in the museum halls. So I believe when he does spawn... Let's see. So search the encounter card, discard pile, spawn it in the encounter pile. So this actually does not happen yet. Um, when the with, when this is being resolved, he does not get his copy of Shadow Spawn, according to uh, Rules Master Ben from uh, our beloved podcast. Um, this they eroded this when Return to Dunwich came, so that uh, the set aside copy of Shadow Spawn does not attach to the first for the first time that uh, he comes into play here. So that's great. Good job, us. Uh, he just comes in as a wee little baby snake guy. Uh, and we're in here at the worst place possible. <clears throat> so we begin our turn. Oh, no, no, just kidding. We don't. <laughs> we still have horrible cards. Great. Twist of fate. Oh, God. <sighs> let's Let's get some horror. How about that? Um, any other number, take one damage. Ugh. All right, so looks like we're going to die from this anyways. Uh, we've got s five, six health, plus ten. Yeah, that's that's ten, unfortunately. So we're going to die from this no matter what now. Uh, thanks, Twist of Fate. Let's see. So we're going to move in here, dodge this guy, and then just leave him behind. So let's see. We're going to move... Uh, fin dodge with five to two. Uh, wait, we don't have the clue here yet. Oh no, we don't have another clue, which means that we're just gonna <laughs> we're gonna leave him in there for a sec. Go to the uh, security office, grab a clue there, and then head out. So first action will be move. We move here. Uh, track shoes triggers. So track shoes says uh, test three. If you succeed, move to a connecting location. Um, how important is this? I'm at minus one, actually. I didn't notice that. So, ugh. I might throw the smuggled goods into this mix here to be at five. Uh, however, this guy is making this a minus three right now. So I might actually just spend the resources, which kind of sucks because it puts us way far away from our hot streak. But we're going to be at a, uh, a seven here. Um, so really... We're not going to fail. <laughs> um, we drew an Elder Sign, so we move here. He's going to come in and, and smack us once, which is kind of fine with us, because uh, we're already we're already going to die from this. So move into the security office here uh, with track shoes. OK, it's, it's we're going to exhaust this. And we're going to grab a, uh, let's see here. So that was click one, action one, and moved here, moved into the security office. God, these track shoes are doing good good, good enough for us. Oh, let's see. I don't want to end my turn in there, so I might end up just kind of looking for resources. And actually, somebody on the stream mentioned something. I'm actually not sure if I if I shuffled this after I took the uh, this guy out. So I got Twist of Fate here. I don't know what I can do about that. That's actually just a genuine error. So I'm going to shuffle that now because technically I do have that sight, that insight of what's coming next if I did actually pay attention to it. Um, so sorry about that. Uh, so next I'm actually up... Uh, oh, this this goes away, which is good. Um, I forgot to take that away. Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. Um... I did get an Elder Sign here on that test just to be sure. I did spend two, mo two money to get through that. So um, an unfortunate series of events. However, the rest of this should go smoothly. Let's, uh, <clears throat> Let's investigate for a clue here. I'm going to use the smuggled goods so that we're at uh, four, five to three. OK. We got a clue. So one was move, two is clue. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. 
I could get another clue, but I don't think it's going to be necessary. So this was kind of the only series of events that uh, made it so that we don't get into the uh, into the next exhibit kind of seamlessly. Um, again, we don't want to end our turn in museum halls, which might be a very big deficit because we're losing a lot of actions by not doing that. Um, but we're doing pretty good on time here. We're on turn five, and we've got one out of the five victory. We've got both of the horrible halls out of the way. It would have been nice that we didn't have to deal with this one at all. Um, but, you know, uh, what can we do? So if I moved in there, fin dodge, then spend the clue, I'd still be in the museum halls, which is very bad for me because I now I'm going to die to be on the veil if it happens. So the best thing that I can do right now is just to get money. Uh, I'm going to get two money and then end my turn here. Okay. Uh, I'm at three money now. Uh, enemy phase, actually, stuff does happen. This guy moves on to me. Punches me for one horror, one damage. Uh, let's see. So I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing this. It doesn't... It doesn't really matter. This basically, his force ability only matters if he is um, not readied anyways. Um, so I haven't been doing it. I don't know if other people are doing it on the streams. I have yet to watch any. But... Hmm. So we're only going to do this uh, when he is exhausted. So enemy face happened. He came and smacked me. Upkeep. Flip everything over. Uh, investigator card, draw card. Okay, we got a flashlight. That's reasonable. Get a money. Um, it's turn six now. One doom, draw card. This ain't looking great. Um, this is one that we can kind of mitigate with perseverance. Now that we are at this this health deficit, we're at four health now. Uh, with Leo, that's five, and then with this would be at nine. Unless we did stack our deck with two Perseverances, it wouldn't matter. So I'm actually going to pitch this Perseverance because it doesn't matter whether or not we have that now because we've taken a sufficient amount of damage. So I'm going to pitch this so we'll be at four. Um, I still think I'm going to keep this hot streak because we really need money. Um, hopefully we can dodge this guy this turn and get out of here. So I'm going to discard this. Let's see. So we're at a three to, three to five. Uh, a lot of things just make us mill five from the top, but... You know, we're going to do our best to not not die horribly. So there's the one that, that would make us die horribly. So we're going to mill five anyways. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, well, there's the caught red-handed. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Okay, well, thank you, Nearly Harmless. Yeah, uh, he's ready, so it doesn't really matter too, too much um, that, that we're not testing his thing. Um, so what we're going to do is fin dodge first. So it's a 5 to 3 because of the track shoes that definitely did get unexhausted. Minus 4, really? Well, that's unfortunate. We're going to go another again. Minus 1, okay. That's more like it. He's left here. Second action will move into the museum halls. Third action will spend a clue. So second, third... Uh, revealing the next museum halls. Uh, let's see. I'll spawn it over here. Uh, like this. This last action move into the museum hall. Okay, after you use fail a skill test, discard an asset you control. That would be horrible if that happened. Uh, so let's hope that doesn't happen. Uh, last action was move in there. Uh, so these don't get ready yet, quite yet. That's upkeep phase. So enemy phase. Uh, we're going to test for him getting up here. Perfect. He does not get up. Um, upkeep, he now does get up. Uh, nope, you are not the you're not the security office. Okay. Uh, we draw a card, which is kind of unfortunate for us. I wish we just didn't have to do that. Uh, oh, perfect. So that actually compresses our actions enough to uh, get out of here relatively easily. So we're going to hot streak here because we definitely need the money. However, the question becomes, if we hot streak, uh, hot streak, fast action, working a hunch, leave. So that's uh, one. Let's see. Okay. 
Okay. So we're at the amount of resources we need here. Um, we're going to go up to turn seven. Whew, we've got like three turns left. We're going to go up to two doom. Um, so it's hot streak working a hunch is fast. So leave clue, get to the next place. Okay. Uh, draw our encounter card. It's in play, add one doom to it. Okay, well that's kind of fine. We don't really care about the doom because we're kind of really ahead on the doom. Our, what we care about is uh, this killing us. And we are almost out of deck, which is very unfortunate. So add a doom to him. Um, 13 counter deck if he's not in play, but he's definitely in play. Uh, so that does kind of sap a turn, but really it's, it's, it's not as bad as us milling cards or losing actions from one encounter card. So we're good with that. Um, so let's see, Hot Streak is our first action. Uh, so we go up to 10 here. Um, fast action, get a... Clue from the exhibit hall. So now we are at two victory. Um, <clears throat> he'll be in the museum hall the next turn. He's going to smack us again, uh, <laughs> which is not that great. Hopefully we don't roll a hypochondria up here. Um, but we're gonna just keep keep moving along here. So second action, move in here. Uh, third action, spend this clue to spawn the next museum halls, which will be up here. And last action, we'll head into this museum halls. After you fail skill test one, investigating this location, lose one action. Okay, uh, and that's kind of fine with us. So last action, we moved in there. Um, enemy phase, he moves in here. So now we're at enemy phase again. I'm very bad at doing this, by the way. I, I never remember that it's here. Next time I'll put it back up here. Um, so I apologize for that. Uh, enemy phase, he's in the museum halls now. He's not become the museum halls. Oh, God, I hate this thing. Okay. Uh, we, so we can kill him to get time, but the best time for, I believe, to kill him is when you spawn the, uh, the restricted exhibit you get uh, he he just immediately spawns there, which is really bad if it, if you're ending your turn there. But uh, you know whatever. So upkeep comes uh, ready. He was already ready. Um, draw card. Gain a resource. That's not a card we want to see. <clears throat> Although it does help us with some will tests if we really really need it. Um, ready this. Go up to turn eight, another doom. Let's draw an encounter card. Oh my god, this thing. Okay. We might only get like three victory here, I think. Um, we've drawn so horribly in terms of all of these will tests. Um, let's think about this. Okay, so we're at will two. Uh, okay, so the re we get three cards off the top here, which kind of sucks. We're really gonna need to get these clues and then head head there next. Um, so we mill, let me think. So that's two, so one, two. There's our other lone wolf. There's our weakness, that's not that bad. And a derringer. Um, the issue is that we're either gonna have to kill this guy uh, in order for us to get all the clues to advance uh, the good way we have to get all the clues off of the last place. Um, all of these are gone, so uh, fuck those things. The, 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 the worst, the absolute worst card for us to get now is uh, Arcane Barrier, um, because Arcane Barrier will just mill five cards and we'll be on our last legs here. So if, we, if we're estimating that we need three turns, uh, one to investigate this place, leave. Two to get into the restricted hall. Assuming that this the the second to last one is the restricted hall, um, 
We could also just bounce from there back here if it's not, uh, and and kind of forsake that victory. Um, hmm. So it's our turn again. Uh, we don't get a lone wolf money. Very sad. This is three to two, which kind of sucks. So first action, I'm gonna just take uh, playing a flashlight. <clears throat> Second action, I will use a flashlight charge. Um, Second action, I'll use a flashlight charge to get uh, four to one. Hopefully that'll be enough. Okay, so we get first clue off here. Third action, I'll use another flashlight charge to get the last clue, hopefully. Minus one, perfect. All right, so we got three victory here. Um, I'm hoping that we can we can get at least four before we die. Uh, okay. All right, so we're at three victory. <clears throat> uh, so that was, let me think, play, clue, clue. Um, don't want to draw any cards. <laughs> These are our lifeblood. Um, we've got one arcane barrier here. Um, let's think about this. Oh, you know what I just realized? I should have shuffled the encounter discard pile when this guy came into play. Um, oh God, unfortunately, I'm going to be probably docked some more horrible stuff because I might not have drawn these if, if all of these came back into the deck. Um, so apologies again for that. Uh, I don't really know what to do at this point, how to, how to remand that. Um, I don't know if it would have made it worse for me, honestly, because... It would have meant that it diluted the visions of futures past. Um, that's my defense against that. But it's possible that, uh, you know, I could be docked a point or something like that, which would be totally, totally reasonable. Um, hmm. I don't honestly remember which turn it was. I guess I could track that by the turn. So that would be five turns when that happened, so I drew three encounter cards since then. So these would be that. Um, for for the purposes of, of the game, I think I'm just gonna, I'm do, gonna do that retroactively. Hopefully that will count for that. Um, because these are the cards that I have already gone through before that happened. Um, Some of these cards I don't want anyways. Like, I don't want this to deal more damage to me. I'm kind of at, at threat of dying here from damage. So I'm going to shuffle these back anyways. Everything's horrible from now on. Um, and we're going to get back to the game. So that was the three uh, that I hadn't done. I guess I just click for money here. Um, I don't really know what the best play is. As soon as I hit an Arcane Barrier on the top here, I, I think I need to compress my actions as much as I can now. So... Instead of waiting for him to come come and get me, I might just go here, dodge him. Hopefully he doesn't ready, and then uh, we'll see where to go from there. So I'm going to abandon all Finn Law and <laughs> hopefully not get, get totally screwed. If we do end up getting totally screwed, uh, I can always resign. And eh, how important can a book be anyways? Um, or I can just kind of gung-ho it for the last victory. We do have a lot of resources to investigate with, so hopefully we'll be able to do that. Um... But I think honestly, just the best the best thing to do right now, since we don't have many turns left, we might have like like three turns left, provided we don't have any horrible things happen, um, is that we do. We do have a flashlight as as kind of fodder for horrible things happening. So uh, my last action will be spent to move back here. He engages me again. However, I do have a fin dodge here. Uh, I will use so uh, three to five. If we evade him, we evade him. If we don't, we don't. Okay, so it's it's minus three. We do meet it, actually, so we dodge him. And that is that. The bad part about this is that... I know, I know, it definitely has nearly armless. <laughs> uh, it has been brutal, this game. Um, probably the most brutal that it's been in, in my playthrough so far. Uh, other than the arcane barrier spawning in the museum halls. Uh, which could totally happen right now because we're forgoing our fin code. Um... 
But enemy phase, uh, he's going to test here to get up. He does not get up. Good job, us. Uh, he's going to get back up here on, on upkeep and engage us. Um, we're going to draw a card, although we don't want to. Gain a resource. Hey, look at that will symbol. Uh, we're going to go up to turn nine here. Four doom, five doom in play. This is a seven advance. Um, we might consider killing him soon. Uh, I don't know if we have the means to ever. Uh, we have a backstab. We have two backstabs, actually, in this deck. Uh, one of them is here. Hopefully we can draw the other one uh, and not have it get milled. Uh, Passage into the Veil. Okay. Uh, we're going to take some more damage. <laughs> um, see, here's the thing. There is, there is a plus one. However, that wouldn't help. I don't think I need to commit this. Um... Because it gives me a 1 out of 16 chance. Ooh, however, you know what? Uh, oh, what would be really bad? Oh, no, we have we have an extra clue. Um, if we do get the tablet that we did put in here, um, we would have to return a clue to the current location, which, it would, which would be kind of bad. Uh, it would kind of screw some stuff up. Um, however, the odds aren't in my favor here. Uh, does this actually smack me if I don't? No, okay, it just spawns on my location. So the worst thing we could get is a tablet, I think. Um... So we're not going to commit anything. We got a minus one. I would have been, <laughs> I would have been hella mad if that were a uh, plus one. Uh, so we, ooh, you know what? Oh god, then we lose Leo. <sighs> yeah, I guess we lose Leo. All right, we're on four a or three actions now. <laughs> uh, so we need to do more with our actions. Uh, we're going to need to dodge this guy um, and hopefully reveal a new museum hall, get into the, hopefully the last one. If it's not the last one, um, let's think. You know what? Actually, if it is the last one, uh, we're going to just track shoes, get out of there, wait in the museum hall, spawn a new one, and then head into the last one. Um... Hmm. Yep. Yeah, so that uh, that error shuffling us, shuffling this guy back, kind of kind of screwed us over because now we're out of Leo. Um, nevertheless, we will persist. Uh, so we're at three, five to two. I could spend two here. I think I'm going to, um, just to make sure. So the minus four fails us, uh, and the auto fails. So that's a two out of 16, but I don't think we want to take any chances at this point. We do have a flashlight charge to get a clue, and we also have the hot streak in our hand. So I think we're going to make judicial use of our thing. Okay, well, we would have we would have succeeded anyway, but uh, he's going to get dodged with our fin dodge. Uh, we're going to reveal a new location... We might just want to reveal both, although it might be a not good use of our actions. So we're going to reveal the next one regardless. Um, Perfect. Glad I have a good computer because this would not be sensible with not a good computer. Uh, so spawned. Um, I don't think we have have time to, to waste with revealing another one. So I'm gonna head here. There it is. Okay. All right. Uh, so as soon as we enter, oh no, this is not breaking and entering. Get that, get that garbage out of here. Night at the Museum. Uh, <clears throat> Necronomicon, blah, blah, blah. Started last week, blah, blah, blah. He's already dead, so. Um, if your investigator enters the exhibit hall, advance. And we have. So I believe that happens before track shoes triggers. I know it doesn't take away the track shoes uh, thing. I don't believe it matters, the order. Um, but either way, we're going to get out of here, I think. Uh, search the encounter card, discard pile void, and all players place it in the exhibit hall. So he actually gets up. Uh, he he gets 
he gets readied and put into here. There's probably some minor FAQ about this somewhere. Um, just in, in that, like, well, does he engage you? Uh, because I do technically have the track shoes thing. Yeah, Shadzar, uh, LCG does stand for Living Card Game. That's kind of an FFG thing. Um, they do uh, Lord of the Rings Living Card Game. They did Netrunner, rest in peace. Um, and uh, Living Card Game just means that they have uh, regular installments in packets of, of uh, standardized amount of cards. Um, oh, I had no idea there was a pro proper category. Well, thank you. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll head over to the card games for the next stream. But for now, we spawn this, which means that we... Uh, okay, so we, we advance this act here. Uh, when you enter the restricted hall, find the curator, museum, blankety pool of blood. Oh, so terrible. Um, everybody is dying. Uh, okay, so he is here, and now we're here. So for the, no clues remaining in the exhibit hall advance. However, uh, I believe it says, while hunting ore is at location, this location, it cannot be investigated. Uh, so he needs to not be here in order for us to get out. Uh, so what we're going to do, both of our intel reports are gone, which sucks, because usually I would just kind of blast that on this last thing and then just get out of here. Um, but it actually just says, oops, um, it cannot be investigated. So intel report actually would do it. Yeah, Shadzar, so the, the specific name of this game is uh, Arkham Horror the Card Game. <laughs> Arkham Horror colon the Card Game. Interesting. Okay. Chaja, thank you so much for bestowing the knowledge to us. Uh, we're going to do that for the next stream. Uh, however, it is it is tense, heated. Uh, I'm glad I packed on the deodorant because it is getting it's getting hot in here. We're at seven cards. Uh, Chadzar, in case you don't know, um, this is a game where you kind of take on the role of an investigator um, who has seven health. This is what you need to know. I have seven health. I have eight cards in my deck. This card says take 10 damage if you're out of your cards. Or if you would draw beyond the amount that you have no cards, I think. No, it's just if your deck has no cards in it, you get murdered. Uh, so I don't want to be murdered. That's 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 not what I want here. Um, I, I escaped it in the nick of time last time. Uh, however, so we're gonna we're gonna continue with our turn. Sorry about that. Um, so we we uh, explored the new place. We're gonna move with the track shoes uh, out of here. So we were at a five to three. Um, that's a two birth in which we have the hunting horror here, which means that skulls are minus three. So for those intents, well, what do you know? We auto failed anyways. Um, that's horrible. So we stay here. Track shoes doesn't resolve. This guy, this guy jumps on us, and we have to dodge him. Our last action, I believe. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna dodge him. Okay, he gets dodged. Uh, whew, looks like we're not. We're gonna get four victory, maybe, possibly, if we don't die here uh, from from our deck being milled. Um. So that was the investigator phase. Enemy phase. Let me see here. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear nearly harmless. There are a lot of video games named Arkham, actually, other than the Batman ones. Uh, <laughs> other than the Batman ones, there are uh, there are a lot of different board games, card games that were made in the Arkham series. Um, but also there's actually, there are two games that are Call of Cthulhu, which are kind of related to it, um, in that they are from the Lovecraft universe. Uh, or based off of that anyways. So enemy phase, I'm going to test here for his ability. He does unfortunately get up and smack us, so we're not doing too hot here. We have two damage left. If we just get a twist of fate or something like that and draw the wrong symbol, we just die. Um, we have three victory, which is ki I'm kind of fine with. However, if we just get eliminated, I don't remember the resolutions here, uh, so maybe we do get eaten. But really, it's just the, 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 chaos, the deck just being horrible to us. Uh, let's see. So, 
boy, we're going to need one turn at least where he leaves this exhibit hall, um, if not for auto fail. Uh, so upkeep, draw card. OK, we have a way out. We have a way out. Uh, although we do need to do it in a place that does not have victory on it, or else we drop all our clues there. Uh, we go to turn 10. We're at f 6 Doom now. This will flip next action, or next uh, phase. See, if we got like a way to kill him, uh, like our like our backstab, I kind of regret not having that, but really there's no way to... to, to uh, to, to know that, so uh, we're just going to get a encounter hard and hope for the best. Okay, perfect. It's a crypt chill. <laughs> Great news, everybody. Uh, we're just going to lose our flashlight, I think, uh, because we do need these track shoes to, to dodge things. Um, minus one, perfect. So track shoe, or flashlight, get out of here. Uh, ooh, this is this is looking spooky for us. Uh, crypt chill goes away. Um, what a fine day to be crypt chilled. We're going to use our fin dodge here. Uh, five to two. Not committing this. That's a minus one, I believe. Yeah, minus one. Perfect. So minus one, he gets dodged. I guess, hold on. Maybe I could have let him out, dodged him, went back in. Oh, no, he would have readied maybe from, from his symbols, so... Now we're going to leave uh, second action. And like, what do we do third action? Do we do we spawn the other halls and just go for it? <laughs> uh, I don't think we do. Because like he's going to take two turns to get to us. And if we just mill our deck out, we're just kind of screwed. Uh, we just leave with three. Um, I know we're not drawing any cards. Because in the event that an arcane barrier spawns, uh, we're just kind of boned. So... What is the best? What is the best thing we can draw here? Let's think about that. Uh, there is another Leo. Um, is there another Leo? Yeah, there is a Leo. Um, he would net us like at least one action, maybe. Uh, other than the turn that we play him, also give us some birth on our uh, damage and horror. Hopefully, this guy. <laughs> I'm saying, hopefully, this guy gets up and gets out. Um, I know, I know. Let's think here. I know it is. It is pretty. It, it is pretty close. Uh, I might be greedy. I. I don't. I don't know what happens on the on the end. I think you just get knocked out and still get to go. Um. I don't think they introduced insta fails until, like way later um so really it comes down to either revealing the other place and getting greedy for the last clue like i think we do because no we might want money here um Hmm. <clears throat> if we get money, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get some money. I think we've been holding on to this hot streak. We need this for uh, all our tests, so we're gonna go up to ten money, and that's our last action. Uh, worst worst thing that happens is that we draw a uh, a horrible thing that makes us mill things uh so we're gonna go to turn 11 and it's just one moment so enemy phase he's gonna he's gonna spawn okay he gets up which is actually good for us <laughs> uh and comes and smacks us uh so we're at one life which is not good um but honestly trauma isn't that bad at this point um we just need to make sure it doesn't happen again so we draw a card it's a backstab gain a resource um, this goes forth. I don't, 
I'm going to do this because I don't honestly remember. So this actually happens. So this goes down to zero because of the fact that he has a doom on him. Um, if he just makes an attack against us, actually, we just die. Hunter Horizon play add doom. Okay, perfect. So add a doom to it. Uh, when, when he enters play, he hasn't left, so he, we, he doesn't get the, uh, the shadow spawned. Um, but he definitely does get a doom on him, which is fine for us. It's not like not that big of a deal at all. The worst thing that could happen right now is I don't. I think there are only three in the encounter encounter set. Uh, oh wait, maybe there are three. Oh shit. Well, if we get that, we just lose. Um, unless we get a zero, in which case we have one card left in our deck. <laughs> um, hopefully, we can just move and and uh, clue clue and get out. Uh, that's that's the plan. However, this encounter card is going to seal everything. Whoa. All right. This is it. Um, let's hope for a symbol, which we take to horror, or a star symbol or a positive number. God damn it, I hate up Bob Dylan. We did it! Okay, we take two horror. Uh, and the game continues. Whew. I'm not running the O-Ball. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not. That that would have been terrible. Um, I, I figured something like this would happen. I was scared enough of Beyond the Veil to not take it. Otherwise, I would be at the deficit of um, of having to get that out of here. Um, I would be at the deficit of having to uh, like deal with Beyond the Veil with, like, two Perseverances in my deck all the time, uh, which is just not that great in terms of, like, how, how efficient your deck can be. Um, but anyway, so we're going to get into our hopefully final turn, leave with four victory, hopefully. Um, we're going to dodge this guy, leaving no room for error. So I'm going to spend two resources with my fin dodge. Okay. Okay. Uh, dodge him. We got it. We got an Elder Sign, which is good. However, it doesn't do anything for us here, unfortunately. Um, Elder Sign says, discover one to kill at your location. Fortunately, we're not at the right location to do that. Uh, first action, we're going to head out, head into the museum. Uh, second action, we're going to clue it up, spend two so we can be at a plus four. Not auto fail? Okay. Minus two. Uh, that happens anyways, though. Huh. So I guess we just don't change the state of things, uh, <laughs> which kind of sucks. Because uh, I pick up one and then I drop one, or I return a, return a clue to its location? That's annoying. Um... See, the thing is, is that if this guy comes in and smacks us again, we just lose anyways. So now the question is, do we I'm out of here or not? Because it's either we take a trauma um, or we... So let me just think. What does the chaos bag look like? Um, let me just select chaos bag, custom chaos bag. I'm going to add the tablet here because it is our um hmm I think I just go for it. Yeah, like I'd I'd return the clue and then pick it up, but it doesn't really change the state of anything. So I guess for the for the purposes of being legal, I'll I'll change this clue for this one. 
Uh, that's a really unfortunate time for that to happen because we could have just gotten out. Um, so here's the thing. This guy gets up if we draw Spooky Symbol, comes and smacks me, and it's game over. Um... That happens regardless. I need to be two locations away, and there's no possible way for that to happen. So I can, I'm out of here now, um, which would save me, I believe, just a, just a um, physical trauma. Or we can, we can hope to get another victory here. And I think for the purposes of the, of the competition, we're gonna do just that. Um, <clears throat> Okay, so we're going to get the last, the, the second to last clue off here anyway. See, we would have been rewarded now if we uh, if we spent the clue, because then we wouldn't have a clue to... Oh, no, we, it would be returned. Never mind. Never mind. Forget everything I just almost said. So here's the deciding factor. Uh, we've been through a lot of nail-biting uh, moments, so now if this guy just gets up from the enemy phase, uh, he just smacks us and, and we, uh, we, just, we just go to the uh, physical trauma place. Okay, so he gets up, we go to the physical trauma place. And we take our last physical trauma. Okay, so it ended uh, in an unfortunate way. We could have gotten all five um, if we if the uh, encounter deck wasn't so mean to us. But I believe that it was just that because I uh, failed on a lot of fronts. Uh, I think that I played a little sloppily, and and we'll just we'll just chalk it up to that. However, Beyond the Veil didn't kill us. <laughs> it was this guy. Um, so thanks to everybody for watching. We ended here with three victory, uh, one physical trauma um, from going over to seven and six. Um, and we didn't get out, unfortunately. However, uh, the next the next uh, instance of this will be the uh, Essex County Express. So we did get three victory. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to get, put that to good use. Um, let's see what was on top of our deck. I know last time. Oh, look, it's Leo. Uh, <laughs> and then we had an elusive, which would have been good. Uh, courage, which is also fine. Sneak attack, which is not really necessary. And also the, the flashlight was the last card. Uh, the next encounter card was going to be a terror from beyond, which would pull our track shoes back in. Uh, which isn't that great, that big of a deal. Although it would mill some cards. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. It would, that, that's the one that pitches a thing. And that is literally just a dead card, which I've gotten many times. Uh... And it was a dead card many times. But unfortunately, we didn't see any of the encounter cards that we wanted to see here. Uh, it was just incredibly mean to us. And, like, Obscuring Fog would have been amazing on any of the locations we had. Ephemeral Exhibits I was really excited for because we have a good book. Uh, we can we can boost it at any point in time. Uh, Stocked and Dark is fine. Uh, it just gets Surge. Um, and, yeah, I mean, we just we just had really bad pulls. Pushed into the Beyond is kind of fine when you have a bunch of stuff out. Um... But but that's, I guess, the, the way the fin cookie crumbles. So we got f three out of the five. We did add a, an unfortunate tablet to the bag, uh, which hasn't happened in any of the playthroughs. But again, everybody, thanks very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.